tons of fun I actually went to two different sales three different sales today um, one of them I didn't pick up anything but I'm going to share with you what I got it was absolutely well worth my time um, which is always fun because you know how much I uh, love hate <laughs> garage sales the first one that I went to I picked up this wonderful mug rack thing and it's funny I had just seen in a video the other day I think it was tarnished treasures had something displayed on this. I have to go back and find it because I thought it was genius. I just really enjoyed the way she was using it. I'm pretty sure it was her. So I, you know, I kind of thought, oh, I would love to find one of those sometime. And I found one, 50 cents. So yeah, very excited about that. That same place had a number of vintage cards and you guys know how much I love my vintage paper ephemera. So I had to get these, these were used. These were my favorite ones. Um, out of all of them, the most vintage looking ones. So I picked those up. They also had at that sale, I have a lot of these, I don't know why I keep picking them up, but I'm drawn to them. Starts for quilts. And I love to find these because these make great journal covers. You can turn them into sachets, you can sew them together, make pillows. You can do any number of things with them, and these are out of vintage fabrics. So, I mean, how cool is that? I got two packages of them. I got that package, and I got this package, which, let's see if I can break into it to show you. This is different. There were two of these. I only bought one. This was different for me. I have never seen one quite like this. So I thought that this was really cool. They're like um, strips sewn together. So I got both of these packages. Let me show you how big the packages are. This has this one in it and then this one has that much in it. And they were four dollars a piece. I did pay up a little bit for those. I, I enjoy those, so. But the last sale I just got done going to, that was my favorite. Oh my gosh, I was just in heaven. Um, I stopped at their, I'm trying to see what they do with their paws. All right, so I'm trying to unwrap these as I go. I got quite a few things. Um, at that one, I picked up this vintage bottle and they had a dollar fifty on it. They told me they were going to charge me a dollar. In the end, they actually gave me a big discount, so I can tell you at the end what I paid for everything. This one, they only wanted twenty-five cents for this plate. You'll notice there's a lot of cracks in it. Um, I think it's beautiful. I'm sure somebody else will, and if nobody does, then it's something that I could perhaps use for. Um, What's it called? Broken China Jewelry. I got another vintage bottle. Cool. And then this one was just on the ground. And I picked it up and I said, how much do you want for this? And he said, 25 cents. <laughs> so, like, sold. Let me show you what's in this box. If it was old, I was grabbing it. This is cute. I don't even know if it works, it's just cute. I think it's missing something. But nonetheless, it look at that. Just isn't that stinking cute. I don't know what it original I don't know what it originally was supposed to do is plastic. This is what the underside of it looks like. So I think it's missing pieces. But nonetheless, oh my gosh, it's really cute. They, they, uh, did you hear that? Nonetheless, it's really cute. They kiss like that, really cute, adorable. And it actually has the box. Let 
Oh, it came with it. Like, actually, here, this is what it is. And so it used, it's made in Hong Kong. It was originally, this is what it, oh, you saw it on the front. It has this thing, so it used a battery, and then they kissed together. So, hold on, i got to turn on the air. So I just got done watching The Antique Nomad. Um, he did a premiere. This was just last night. And in it, he showed a whole bunch of red enamelware. And I was thinking to myself how I really don't see red enamelware when I'm out. And I like it. I see the blue and maybe, is there black enamelware with the rim? I don't know. But I never see red. And so I saw the red and I was like, ooh, I like that. So they did have 250 on this little red pan. And they had five on the pot, but again, they gave me a big discount at the end, so I'm not sure what I actually paid. I think I did pretty well. I was okay with that price anyway. Um, so the couple was older. Um, by older, I mean late 70s, maybe 80s. And I got to talking, I don't want to rattle all that paper while I'm talking to you. I got to talking to them, and they were, um, well, they were really excited that I was a young person who was into vintage. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to stay with you calling me a young person. That just made my day. Um, so I was running around grabbing all their um, older stuff and being really excited by it, and that kind of tickled them. They liked that, so I think they were nice to me because of it. Um, so anyway, at the end, I'm going to show you more stuff. I have two more bags to show you, but at the end, I was standing there, and I was talking about um, what I like and whatever, and another young man came up, and she was talking to him, and she was pointing out all the boxes, empty boxes that they had, and apparently they had gone through a whole bunch of stuff. And she said something about Christmas, and I looked up and I said, Christmas, I go, oh my gosh, I love vintage Christmas. Do you have more? And then I looked at the guy, and I said, oh, unless that's what you're asking about. And he, she goes, this is my son. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and um, anyway, so he's laughing, and he said, yeah, whatever, you know, take it. I then and, and then he was teasing his parents, and I don't have to put it in the dumpster later. And um, anyway, so fortunately, I had business cards made up. So I had a business card, and I told them what I did on YouTube, and I gave them the business card and told them, um, you know, if they're going through their old vintage Christmas or other stuff, and they're interested in having somebody come out and, you know, buying it from them to give me a call or whatever to get in touch with me so I don't know maybe I'll get to go get some uh, vintage Christmas that wasn't put out for a sale that would be exciting it's really hot in my car I gotta turn on my air again all right so I kind of gotten into another bag and I'll show you so I was just kind of going through there then after and just grabbing up everything I could find that was cool so look at this look at these chopsticks can you see will it focus on the little guys on the top of the chopsticks. Stinking cute. I don't think these have ever been used because they're they've still got the like the little the little seal on them. And I just think they're adorable. So I got them with the idea of art. They had a dollar on them, which was fine with me. <laughs> they had this little nutcracker. Isn't it cute? It screws up, like you put the nut in his mouth like this, and then you screw it up. It's made in Japan. I just thought he was adorable. I don't know what he's worth. I probably, I mean, well, again, they gave me a deal at the end, but they wanted $4 for him, and I just couldn't leave him behind. And in part, I really like these old people, <laughs> so I wanted to help him out. I picked up one of these, um yardsticks and the funny thing is they had a quarter on it and they said as is but for the oh I see now I think it's missing a thing maybe I don't know at the end that's broken off but I think it goes all the way out to it goes all the way out to 66 66 inches so What's 12? That's how long is this thing? <laughs> I don't know. This isn't a yard. Yard is 36 inches. So maybe it is missing something because if it was a double yard stick, it would go to 72, wouldn't it? Or maybe I've got this wrong. Oh, it does. It does even go to 72. See? On the other side, maybe. It, I don't know what's missing on it. 
anyway I like it I think it'll still make a star it still looks cool so for a quarter I wasn't gonna leave it there then they had this whole little baggie for 50 cents of these are little I can open it I got one open look they're little um, eyeshadow samples but they're in little brass containers so that's that's really old they had a question mark after it that they weren't sure maybe it was Avon because Avon did this later on with um, lipsticks and things I've never seen them in brass that's kind of cool so just because I, I thought wow that's neat they had to have that I don't know why I liked it it was 10 cents 10 cents you can't go wrong for 10 cents I'm like that's just really different so I got those things all right so you've probably seen me do this before <laughs> I had to rescue the little baby Jesus in a manger from the manger scene and I don't know how much they actually charged me for this they had 225 on it and if I had seen 225 on it I wouldn't have picked it up <laughs> I was just grabbing things because 225 is a little bit much for that for me anyway um, a dollar maybe but but in the end like I said I really like these people and they gave me a really good deal at the end I didn't ask them for it but they gave me a really good deal so I got sweet little baby Jesus this I think somebody handmade that isn't that cool a little owl sun catcher yeah me and my birds for art I like these. They're plastic. But they'll go in some project someday. I like those. Got those. It's really hot. So I'm sitting in my car doing this because my house is still a disaster from stuff brought home from my dad's estate. And I just had my live sale on Sunday. Today is Thursday. And I have nowhere to do anything so I'm filming this in my car because I'm afraid that if I don't film it now these things are gonna sit in bags for weeks months and I will never get to it so um, but it's hot in my car It's really muggy outside I'm not complaining because it was snowing in May and before we know it it's gonna be cold again so I'm not complaining I'm just stating a fact <laughs> So if I'm glistening, that's why. And I have to keep pausing to turn on my air conditioner because you guys can't hear me if I have my air conditioner on while I'm doing the video. So I'm going to do that again real quick. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so let me go on. <clears throat> they have these wrapped up really, really nice. But I got these really beautiful. They had them labeled as Victorian couple. If I had to guess... I would have guessed Occupied Japan. She's shiny, he's not so shiny, and he's got he's got quite a bit of paint loss on the back here. And there's nothing on the bottom. But that's kind of what I would have guessed. I don't know, but I like the fancy they have transfer wear on their clothing. And she, I don't know if it's when they bought it or what, she has this little tag down at the bottom, and so I'm looking at this, trying to figure out what it was. And it's the date off of the newspaper. It says, what does it say? <clears throat> Wednesday, May 16th, 1979, out of the Cleveland Plain Dealer. And um, so maybe that's when they got them. I don't, I don't know why she had that taped underneath there. I didn't even think to ask her if she knew why. But I paid up for these two. I paid um, $3 a piece for them. Sometimes I get in trouble when I like people. <laughs> but they did give me a deal at the end, so yeah, I think I I think I did okay. Um, hang on. They had this awesome vintage watercolor tin. Isn't that cool? Um, as an artist, this is the kind of thing that you can take this out and put um new stuff in which is kind of fun she told me that she thinks it's from the 1940s because it was hers when she was a little kid when she was in school so that's the date that she thinks of that so I think that's kind of nice that I got her childhood uh, watercolor pan um look at what I found 
mercury glass beads. I thought that was a pretty good price for the mercury glass beads. There's a red set in here and a pink set. Let's see what else I can pull out of my little. Oh yeah, she gave this to me. Here, let's show you. So they had these swizzle sticks in a box. And if you've watched my channel, you know I kind of like the swizzle sticks. I'm not a big collector. It'll be really interesting. As I'm filming this, you know, you, it might get published before he does it or maybe shortly thereafter. But Patrick at Trusty Huckster Mercantile is going to do a deep dive on swizzle sticks. And since I kind of have a collection going, just because I thought they were cool and I used them, um, and the idea is to use them in art, it'd be nice to know because some of them can be quite collectible. There's nothing in here that's really exciting, so I'm glad I asked them for a discount on these. Um, now this is an old restaurant in Cleveland. I'll have to look it up. That might be sometimes when they're like for locales that are no longer there. Um, but like these are just plain. I got a bunch of plain ones. This one's kind of neat. What is this one? Oh, American Airlines. Do we still have American Airlines? I think so. When they're out defunct, then they're worth something. Don't know what that is. Another one of the spoons. Another just boring <laughs> plain one. This one is Showboat Sari S in Chicago. She told me that her swizzle her swizzles her swizzle stick days or her swizzle days were over. <laughs> I remember what she told me. I think my swizzle stick days are over, she said. She's cute. So fun. And then some more of the just the plain ones. Well, some of these have some names on them, different places. New York places, Four Roses, New York Athletic Club, La Tassie in New York. Let's see what the rest of these are. I'm not going to go through all the names or anything because I don't think they mean anything too much to anybody. Some more spoon ones with names on them. Hotel. Statler Hotel. I wonder if this is a Statler in Cleveland. There's all of that. This one must be glass. It's in a special container. So, anyway, nothing really exciting in this Wizzle Stick, so I'm glad I talked her down. I've tried not to talk her down, actually, to be honest with you, because, you know, it's her stuff. And, and they had prices like 25 cents on something like this, this vintage scoop, which I think is totally cool. A full, a full level of this it says is a quarter of a cup so that's awesome I also picked up this little piece of ephemera because I'm a sucker for ephemera I don't even know why I got it they had too much money <laughs> I told you I get in trouble when I like people that's that's a really that's a problem it's a that's what it is and I paid too much for it <laughs> some things I paid too much for some things I did real well so I don't remember what they had on these at all. I don't remember. But, looky looky, I got a half moon flower frog. I've been looking for one of those. I like the metal ones a lot. I'm a metal flower frog person. I know there's a lot of people that like the um, glass ones, but I like the metal ones. And then I, I got this one. It was in the box. And I nor I normally I don't pick these up, so I'll probably pass this on and I'll sell it. Maybe. You know how I am. This might be fun in my um, St. Patrick's Day motif or mantle, whatever. Um, but so I got all those. I can't remember how much they wanted for them. I don't think it was terribly much. But I got all of that. So in the end, he was really cute. The old, the old, oh, wait, I haven't showed you everything. I got two more things. So I grabbed this um, little snowman, like Snoopy ornament with little... Um, safety pins for skates. That was cute. It was a quarter. And then this adorable, amazing little chickie was in their free pile. So, yeah, that was cool. I gotta turn on the air again. Hold on. So, in the end, when, when I went to check out, he was really cute. He told me, he was, kept, was trying to tell me um, what I had to pay. So, he told me I don't know how he did it. It was in a roundabout sort of way. It was really funny. And then, but he, then he said to me, he goes, but wait, 
but wait, with the discount, with the discount we gave you. <laughs> so I think that the, um, the original price would have been like 32 or something, or yeah, I don't know, something in there, 32, 34. And uh, they charged me $27 for it. So I happily paid that, gave them my card in case they had more uh, vintage Christmas that they wanted me to come and look at. And um, counted it a good day because I just had a fun time talking to them and looking through all their stuff. Um, so anyway, that was my haul for today and my fun little um, yard sale story. And um, anyway, if you're new to my channel, I hope that you would consider subscribing. And um, as always, please ring the bell so you know when I go live. And when I post content, comments are wonderful because they really support this and any other channel that you comment on, as do the thumbs up. So thanks for doing all of that, you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.